Well, the flu shot is the best available tool to prevent the flu, but it's not a perfect science. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains promising new research that could change how effective it is, and it begins in an unlikely place. Farm animals at a county fair, of course, but why are medical researchers hanging out with the pigs? Pigs are, are believed to be the mixing vessel for flu viruses. The deadly 2009 flu pandemic started in pigs and spread to humans, causing 60 million cases of influenza and 12,000 human deaths. That's why Dr. Andrew Bowman and his team at the Ohio State University College of Veterinary Medicine began hitting the fair circuit. We get pigs from lots of farms at one spot, and so we can do a surveillance rather efficiently instead of having to go farm to farm to farm to find out what flu strains are out there. Bowman and his team visit more than 100 fairs each year, swabbing pigs and taking the samples back to the lab. If we're able to detect that there's likely influenza in the sample, then we'll try to grow that virus. They're looking to identify new strains of the flu before they make the leap to humans. We might be able to have something that would even prevent uh, you know, novel strains uh, being introduced or at least lessen the impact of new strains being introduced. New strains are especially dangerous because because we have no immunity to them, making them more likely to cause severe illness. Current flu vaccines don't protect against unknown strains either, but this program may help determine which are likely to pose a threat and should be included in the flu shot. Improvements are being made where we can have a more broadly protective vaccine, uh, so we wouldn't have to have that, that guess occurring every year. Something that could help us and the pigs too. Monica Robbins, Channel 3 News.